If we go back to report, we have person and basically the owners of each, how much wealth they have, how much stock they have. You know, I own 500,000. If we go to report, single financial, we can see the current month is our sales revenue, our purchase cost, our freight, and how much we're offering profits are. Right now we're not making a whole lot, only about 150000 200000 a month. But that's not too bad as long as it's on the up and up, you know, your annual profits up here. And tell the number of employees you have at the department store. For instance, we have 27, 7 units. Uh, you know, we're using 84%. So it means we're selling pretty much what we're making, which are what we're importing, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, we're selling an awful lot of cameras. You know, we might, if we're careful, up that just a little bit, you know. Make a little bit more money because we're getting demands outpacing the supply, I believe. So we can actually up that a bit. Same thing here. And we change pricing here as well. You know, and now you can see your annual profits five hundred twenty-five thousand, which is not bad either. We can get to go down to financial stuff, and we can look at our corporate income, and again, our net profit for the current month. And again, they bought more shares, and as they buy more shares, it'll drive the price up as well, which is good and bad. It costs me more, but if I want to sell a bit of my shares, then I'll make more. Frequency right now is basically uh, how often the ads being aired. For instance, being aired about 29 times a month, so about once a day. And the amount of population it's reaching in the particular city. Of course, the city is a little bigger, so there's actually multiple ones. But this one's actually a TV. I think this other one's a newspaper. So we could theoretically put in their advertising here if we wanted to and go and advertise it. But considering... You know, what we're doing, we're probably good to keep it the, the way we are now because we can, we, we're getting to a point where we're selling pretty much everything we have, I believe. Although we do have a lot of quantity of cameras, 15,000 cameras, 48,000 pairs. So we might want to, um, two things, adjust the price. Okay, we might want to adjust the price a bit. Let's pop that back down again. We're making more money, but we have tons of stock. And we're actually going to pop in another advertising unit here, I believe. And we're going to link it to that. And link media firm and link it to the newspaper. And again, we don't want to spend quite fifty thousand, we'll spend half that. Newspaper a little bit cheaper, so we're getting about twice the number of ads for about the same amount of money, approximately. You know, and hopefully that'll drive up sales even more.
Oh, and he bought a bunch more shares. So I should actually be checking in on this because I don't want them getting too much of my stock, uh, stock market. All right, so you can see I own 50%. Actually, with the mount, they've bought public shareholders own 45. He owns 5% of me now, and which is worth about 500,000. The shares I have are worth about 5 million, and then the public shareholders have the other five. We can look in more detail, and you can see our stock price overall, and you know cash, our annual revenue, annual profit, and net worth. We can also check in on the other ones as well. You know, some have a little bit higher stock price, but again, as said, varies. Look, you know, how much equity per share, the dividend, and all that. What we can do is we can start up another department store if we want. Probably a good idea to do it on the other side, though. Okay, so we got that put there. And we're going to basically get the inventory unit. Oh, actually, we're going to change that. It's going to be the purchasing unit. Inventory unit and then sales unit and connect those. Now, purchasing unit, I'm going to have to link to a supplier, which I'm going to pop down here and select one of these. Probably this one, be some gross, you know, milk, stuff like that. Or um, what else can we do? I choose, yeah, let's do this. And so we're going to link. So we got bottled milk. Now we don't make a whole lot, but it is a necessity. So hopefully, you know, lots of people want to buy it. And again, we're going to purchase a unit. We're going to do inventory. And we're going to do sales. And again, we're going to do another one too here. Oop, purchasing, sales, oh, inventory, and sales. And link those. And like this. We don't want to do wheat. We'll do socks. And on this one, we'll do stereos. And again, best thing to do too is to check the prices. Again, the total cost is 156. We can probably get away with dropping that to around 300. A lot better sales, and we still make quite a bit. Socks, again, we probably do with lowering it just a bit. And milk, again, we don't have a whole lot of leeway, and, but it is uh, something people need, so. And we can look at our products by going to products. Sorry, products down here. And we can have a look and see how stuff's doing. You can see how much you have. Like, for instance, milk. Uh, I He's selling a lot more milk than I am. This uh, Ion Industries. Um, same thing with the Hi-Fi. But the average local price is 49. Uh, sorry, average local price is 448. I'm selling for 300. So people are going to buy mine instead of his if they're the same quality. You know, I am making smaller revenue than him, but once I got the business, I can, you know, go and up the price. And again, we can go into reports, and we can go to financial, and you can see, well, because of the building we've done, we've lost some money, but we're, again, we're in the current month, we're gaining money now again. Because you can see these write-offs. And we also got higher operating overhead. You know, it all costs more. You have to import stuff, you have to pay for freight, you have to purchase it, and then you have to make revenue from it. Yeah, if you look at this, this is the net income. And then we have the uh, 
you know, corporate balance sheet as well. Okay. Newspaper has a little less coverage. It's still pretty good. And we're looking at here, some of them have a lot of money, like United Array, but it doesn't look like they're actually creating every revenue. So they have lots of money, but they're not creating anything. This guy does have a lot of money, and he has a lot higher revenue than we are. But hopefully, we can grow. He could be also dealing with, uh, oh, it looks like he's doing supermarkets too. So, and which is... And we can also buy stocks and competitors if we wanted to. I think for now, though, we'll not worry about that. Go back here. And again, we can go and check to see how our stuff's selling. We can also tell them to stop purchasing so that we can uh, sell what we have in stock. You know, if we find we have too much, you know, we can stop purchasing. This, we don't have too many. We have only 192 left. And again, inventory, for instance, we have an awful lot. They're not even purchasing anymore. Same thing here with the cameras. Uh, we can clear stock. Um, that will affect our bottom line, though, because I believe it clears them out at just you know very little um, you know so I do have to be careful with some of that stuff we're gonna stop purchasing for that for now cameras we don't got too many thankfully we're gonna clear stock of the shoes okay We'll link that back again. And I don't think we can change suppliers, but I don't think we have another port here. So for now, we're just going to keep the same one. All right, so we'll just pop back over here and up here, grab our another one. And we still have an awful lot of that. And we still have a lot of socks. So I don't think we're going to purchase any more of that. These we're getting an awful lot as well. Anyway, so you got a kind of idea how to go. This is to the department stores. You can do factories and build stuff and whatnot. It does require a little bit more outlay to do that, but it can be done as well. Um, and you can also refine materials, and so then you sell that to competitors and whatnot. Um, so, you got an idea of how it's going. I have it at the slowest time, so it makes it a little bit easier to keep track. And if you did want help, there's a lot of help in this stuff, telling you what each thing is. You know, you can have livestock as well, logging and all that stuff. If you have any questions about Capitalism Plus, please feel free to ask. And glad you had watched the video, and hope you enjoyed it, and hope you, uh, you know, got an idea what the game all is all about. Thank you very much for watching.